like that our desk is all full of trinkets and stuff. It's spilling over to the desk in front of us. Whoever works there is going to be a little upset when they finally come back to work. Ha! But we have to take on Betty. We got to get Betty down. Betty's not an easy boss to take on, so... We're not wasting time. We're going to try to take out Betty as quick as we can. Lots of dodging, dipping, ducking, crowing, and hammering. And we might as well just get right into it. Hup! Hi, Betty! Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Come on now, Betty. Wah! Okay! Yep. I remember you, Betty. Ha! Uh huh. Whoop! It's the rolls that get you. Them rolls, though. Ha ha! Betty, you're starting to look a little cracked. How you doing there? I should not get cocky. Whoop! Ha <laughs> ha! You! Yeah, okay. We're starting with the snowballs. Oh! That was a wumpin'. Ow! That's wump number two. I gotta be very careful. Betty! Got to keep her in line of sight. And watch out for them snowballs. Ow! And those fists. Those giant punchy fists. Oh, that's a lot of snowballs! Oh, I got hit by a snowball. Oh, this is a problem. This is a problem. Ah! I would have deserved death there. Ho! Oh. oh, we're so close. Come on now. Oh, we got got. I got too cocky. I forgot about that third roll. Oh. Oh. Okay. Ho! Oh. Uh, ow. Oh boy, down to our last. So is Betty. Oh, almost dodged into a snowball. Yeah! Now that's not it. You're not going to give it to me that easy. No way. No way. No way! You are? No way! I mean, Betty was not an easy boss, don't get me wrong, but... I didn't think Betty was the one that carried that. Oh. Okay. I guess so. We are gathered here today to pass the morning of Betty. To some, she was revered as a god. To others, feared as a wild, untamable beast. And to a small few, loved as a radiant beauty. After many lifetimes lived atop the mountains, supplying locals with fur and untimely deaths, she can now rest. Bow your head in remembrance. Pay your last respects. Her time in this world is over. Oh, Betty. Oh, Betty. I loved you, Betty. You were easily the most challenging boss I've faced yet. What an incredible adventure this has been. Full of twists and turns. So Betty and the Beast were one and the same? Amazing. Ha. That means the drunken guy, the stranded sailor. Was he in love with the Beast? Wow. Kind of feel bad for both of them now. Dead or heartbroken, which do you think is worse? They're both kind of tragic. Still, 
It's great material for a song, huh? I'm going to start writing it straight away. Once it's ready, come by the Stranded Sailors. Come by the Stranded Sailor sometime and I'll play it for you. Got a little excited there. Another another demonic soul's anger quelled reaper. May they find peace in death. And that's it. That's all four spirits we got to get. But obviously there's so much more to do. We downed Betty in the first ten minutes. And it took us literally, like, almost... I think it took us over half an hour last time before we gave up. More to do, more to see, though. These creatures are so colorful. They're giving me a migraine. And they're coming through the doors that you left open. Honestly, you're turning my office into dimensional Swiss cheese. Aw, but they're the cutest gen dimensional Swiss cheese. Hi, friends. Hi. Look at you. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Kisses. Okay. Oh, this is what? 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 Why, why do you get a rare black one? Oh, it's so cute. I love it. My little friend got into the ink supply. Oh, the poor dear. Although she doesn't seem to mind. Maybe she just loves the smell as much as the smell of ink just as much as I do. I uh, uh, I love them. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, my heart. My heart's broken. Uh. Welcome to the Soul Vault. Would you like to increase your combat abilities? I suppose. So 1,500, 1,000. Raising this will allow the Reaper to charge their melee and ranged attacks faster and increase the speed at which melee attacks can be chained together. Well, that would definitely be useful. And we have enough for it. Boom! All right, now we have to get 1,500. Come on, little friends. Come on, little friends. Oh, yes, let's go. We've got... I mean, why are your eyes closed? Are you a sleepy little friend? Oh, you're a sleepy little friend. Oh, I love you. I love how every single one of them has their own little identity. Ah. Uh, we don't need to go to the Grove of Spirits. We do need to go to the Lost Cemetery. Okay, friends, goodbye. Oh, I even turned around and greeted them as I left. Oh. Okay. Now I just have to find my way back to the big crow that tried to, uh, do away with my... Took my spirits from me. You've certainly been keeping me busy. However, it's nice, it's nice to have something to focus on. Sending the dead on their journey may seem like a depressing task, but it gives me a sense of purpose. Oh, we've got a little bit of graveyard to wander around here and try to find new things. Star Raptor, hello! Getting all up in here with your gremlins. Oh, a single gremlin before the storm. I know how this works. Hey, I just realized we were able to go somewhere we weren't able to go before. So let's see if we can get there now. If I can remember how to get there. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Ow. Okay. Dealt with. Now that we have the grappling hook, we do have access to go to Stranded Sailor a little bit. We've actually got a lot to explore in this hither graveyard. Did we already do this, though? I think we did not. We have the grapple hook now, so we can do this now. Good, good. Excellent. Very good. I like being a little crow with a hammer. The dual daggers are 
probably my favorite weapon, but I'm kind of coming together with this. Hi. Okay. Kind of bringing it together with this hammer here, if I'm honest with you. We'll see how it goes as I continue my adventure. Oh, I'm going to have limited time on this, aren't I? Okay, alright. I can deal. I can hang. Got it! Moving on. Hey, what is this? Uh, 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 hello. Ow. Um, hey there. Okay, that did a thing. I don't think he liked it very much. Oh! I got knocked off the world. Okay. So this guy kind of kicks ass. That might be a problem. The door asks you. Try again. Yes, please. Oh, okay. I don't have access to these yet. Is that what you're telling me? I do not. All right. Hoop a doop. What does that mean? What does that do? Okay, let's go back to my rogue blades. Ow. Oh my god! He hurts me so bad. Just whomped on. I'm just getting whomped on here. Wow. Okay. Alright. Toro, Toro, e Toro. Ow, Guillermo del Toro. I'm only just starting to crack his armor. Oh, this is gonna be a tough fella. This will be one tough fella. Oh, ouchie. Whoops, that was the edge. God damn it, that was the edge again. All right, I might as well have died on that one. I was not doing too great. Not doing too great at all. I will try the door again, thank you. Och!
Wow! Okay. What? How come you get to do that? Uh huh. Whoop a doop a doop. Don't you be getting tricky with me now. I'm down to my last health, and that's not fair. Okay, bye. Aaron, hello. Oh, peripheral possession. Hi, Aaron. Hi. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's try again. This time with our peripherals possessed. Ow. Okay. Wow, I just can't get a beat on this, can I? Okay, okay, okay. Peripheral possession for good luck. You're right, you're right. How how dare I be so ungrateful for your gifts? Ah, let's just start off with that, shall we? Ow! I got stomped on. Nah. Ouch. That was a really stupid fast death. We'll try again. I keep letting that happen. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. I'm down to my last two already. Last one already. May as well just die. May as well just die. Nah. And an offensive oracle. Going all out today, huh? All right. Okay, spirits, please tell me what is, uh, what do you have to say to Aaron today? Spirits say you have something you need to know, but what is it? They say, take a shot. Don't take 12, take one. Okay, maybe two. I was thinking it was going to be something all inspirational, like, yeah, go take your shot. Shoot your shot. Go do the thing you, go talk to the person you wanted to go talk to. Go, go. Do the thing that you've been putting off. No, no. Go take a couple shots, apparently. Yeah, you know, that's not the best advice sometimes. But hey! That's what the spirits are saying today. Don't let me be your enabler. Got it. What you drink though? You don't drink alcohol? Fair. 
Take a shot of water. Take two shots of water. Maybe a shot of espresso if it's not too late. What that hit me for? What hit me? Ouch. That was my own hubris. That was my fault. Fuck! I was doing so good. I was doing so good. Yeah, take a shot of Sprite. That's fine. That's good. Take a shot of Sprite. Do it. Ow. Ow. This asshole in his tuning fork. <laughs> That's what gets me. <laughs> okay, fine. Ouch. Okay. Dodge locked. Ow! That's not nice. Come over here. I dare you. Why did I dodge right into that? I'm not doing too good. got caught by his little tiny flame. Damn it. Did you see that last one though? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> A silent servant has been vanquished and their soul power added to your Yours. Yay! Exactly. <laughs> Game cra No! <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh hold holding your arrow spell for longer will now cause uh, will now charge your shot and cause more damage. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Vincent Mel, uh, Vincent May, how do you say that? I apologize. We're gonna give you an offensive oracle. You want to talk to spirits, and spirits want to talk to you. Let's see what they have to say. Oh, spirits, please tell me what we should tell our friend Vincent. What information do you have to pass along to our friend? The spirits say that project, that person, that idea is waiting. Get after that shit. The world has your back. You hear that? Spirits are telling you, get on it. Heck yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, all right. I spotted some bullshit in that last battle. One of those, when I was uh, when I was locked, when you did that lock attack and had the, the circle around me where I couldn't dodge or anything like that, one of the, uh, one of the things actually like went out of its arc to attack me. Oh, that's good stuff. Look 
Look at me, I'm a little fury swiping machine. Good since your classes today? That's good, that's real good. Now how the heck do I get out of here is the question. I defeated the boss. How do I get out of here? Little friends, you got any uh, hints for me? Ow! Damn buzzy beetles. Might as well just wake up the whole audience and get them all. Okay. Exterminated. Now I just gotta figure out how to get out of here. Because apparently this is not the way. But is there something down that way on the waterways? Hmm. Or do we just have to give up and die? Sorry, beetle friends. Where does this go? I don't recall this place. Have I been here before? Oh, okay, I have been here before then. Ow. Sorry, little bat pigs. You're my friends though, right? We now have a charged arrow, which is nice, because the arrow was kind of useless until this moment. Uh, where does this say? This way to the overgrown ruins. This way to the summit! Well, I guess we might as well go and get some soup. That sounds nice. Soup always sounds nice. How do I get that? Consume flowers! Pardon me, little friends. Here we go. You did it. You're much you're a much stronger reaper than I. I could have never taken down those giant souls alone. It is time, at long last. Let us force this door open, fledgling, and finish our assignments. And now, to the other side. Wow! That was cool. That was good stuff. This is it. This is the place beyond. Where no life is to be seen. Uh, hello? Oh, hi. He's got a fanny pack. Hi! Uh, are you? Death? I thought the tales of the original Reaper were just the mad ramblings of the Free Crows. Yeah, well, 
I guess that's me. So... If you didn't know I was real, that means you're not here to rescue me then, huh? Uh... It, no. Sorry, we're here for another purpose. In fact, you might be able to help us? Wow! Rude! But... Alright. I mean... What's a few minute, few more minutes after cent several centuries? So why are you here? Actually, how did you even get here? We seek the souls that have passed through de uh, your door. We are service-bound reapers. We require those souls to finish our tasks and restore our stature with the commission. Otherwise, we will die. Uh, oh. Awkward. If you're looking for a soul here, then you're out of luck. Any non-corporeal souls that pass through the door are absorbed into the ether. Soul energy has to be recycled to create new life. That's why my job was so important. Not that the living didn't hate me for it. I used to go around reaping souls myself, then picking them up and taking them beyond the veil. But it was so depressing. Not for the souls, they don't care. But for the living ones they left behind. I wish I could let them know dying isn't scary. It's just the cycle of life. Thing is, over the vastness of time, I got very tired of that cycle. But then one day, a strange being came to me with a proposition. That be this being could create portals, doors to any place or world. They offered to outsource the collection of souls to an automated system using one of their doors. While it was open, it would draw in souls of the dead. A lighthouse on the shores of the Aether, if you will. In return for this, they asked for their lives to be extended. Well, actually, they asked me for immortality. But that's impossible. If souls stick around too long past their expiry date, then with nothing left to tie them to mortality, they decay into demonic forms. All life must end. Well, eventually. So, while I kick back, several generations of these self-proclaimed lords of doors came and went, enjoying their unnaturally long lives. Each one agreeing, in the end, to submit to the limitations of life and willingly go into the ether. Until one didn't. Which brings us to your current Lord of Doors. Towards the end of what should have been their lifespan, your Lord betrayed our long-standing agreement. They said there had been some kind of incident that a door had malfunctioned and needed to be remade anew. For the door to be reconstructed, it would require the touch of death to link the door to the Aether. But after this new door was created and opened, the Lord kicked me inside and sealed it shut. No way for me to escape. No way for stray souls to pass on to the Aether. No death among the living. I 
I've been here alone ever since. But my assigned soul, it must be here. It has to be here. I tracked it to this door. It must have entered here somehow. Are you sure you haven't seen it? Sorry, guy. If a soul comes in here without a body, it disappears into the aether. Sooner or later, everything that begins has to end. So, there's no hope. It must still be here somewhere. No. No, no, no. I wasted so many years searching for that soul. Decades. Centuries. I refuse to die. Uh-oh. I sense you're a little bit past your best before date. Oh, the Grey Crow. I want to see your attacks, friend. What have you got? Oh, that's a chain. That's Buck Wild. These are some nifty tricks you've learned. Oh, so every time I stab him, I have these little jerks I have to deal with. Ow. Oh, this feral crow creature. This is, yeah, this is absolutely sad. Ow. Okay. Yeah, this is, uh... and gift wrap. This is a beautiful boss fight, though. Can we take a moment to admire just this white on black aesthetic?
the hell? Whoa, that would have been just epic had I hit him. Come on, tiny friends. Come on! Oh. Fork! Knife! Oh, come on! This one's a tough one. Oh, but we're right there. We're right there. Make the skulls dizzy. Ow, deserve that. That was cocky of me. Ouch!
Ooh, that was close. Ow, fuck, that was dumb. Oh, yes, we did it! We did it! Oh!